Hey guys, what's up? I'm Rohit Kumar, host on Click Digest, and today we have the Samsung Galaxy Tab S6 with us. This is the successor of the Tab 5 SE that we showed you some time back, and this is the latest one that has been launched recently. It has been launched at an MRP of 59,990 in India, and it comes with LTE support and it also has 128 gigs of storage. It has some very interesting features and specifications. So, in this video, I'm going to unbox this give you a quick hands-on review of the samsung galaxy tab s6 and we have also got with us the book cover keyboard for the galaxy tab s6 we'll also show you how this keyboard accessory works this is sold separately but if you are buying them together you get a good discount on the book cover accessory as well i'll leave the links to both these devices in the description section below this video so without further ado let's get started with our unboxing and quick review of the samsung galaxy tab s6 Before I open the box, let me quickly read out the major features that have been mentioned here on the box. It, it says 128 GB LTE. Uh, that means this one has uh, internal memory of 128 gigs. It has a Super AMOLED uh, WXGA 2560x1600 uh, display. And it's a Super AMOLED uh, just like most Samsung flagship devices have. It also has dual rear camera with 13 plus 5 and the 5 megapixel camera is uh, an ultra wide one here. You got a 8 megapixel front facing camera, Bluetooth remote control, S Pen included. So it has an S Pen stylus also included which is a good thing. It has on screen optical fingerprint sensor, 64 bit uh, octa core CPU which is the Snapdragon 855 that they have got on this machine. It has 6 gigs of RAM, 128 GB memory, 7040 mAh battery and Samsung DeX support for tablets. Also adaptive fast charging. The Samsung DeX is the desktop like software environment which runs on the Samsung Android devices and it has it inbuilt so you can use it like a PC when you use it in de DeX mode. So it lets you do a lot more of productivity tasks which is great. So let's open the box and see what's uh, here inside. The first thing that you find is the Samsung Galaxy Tab S6 itself. It's uh, neatly wrapped into this uh, sheet. So let me quickly open this. And this here is the Samsung Galaxy Tab S6. It's a 10.5 inch uh, form factor. It comes with uh, a super AMOLED display and it is just 5.5 millimeters in thickness. Fairly slim when it comes to uh, the thickness. And the weight is also around 420 kgs and this is how it looks it has a groove here for the s pen and the s pen magnetically latches onto this tablet and charges uh, wirelessly and here the next thing in the box is the s pen itself which is color matching with the body color of this tablet and this is metal build and metal and glass it feels quite solid and uh, fairly sturdy and this is how it latches to the uh, back of the tablet it is uh, magnetically latched so this is where it goes let's see what else is in the box so here we have got uh, an adaptive fast charger which comes with a uh, 9 volt 1.67 ampere or 5 volt 2 ampere so it's a 15 watt adaptive fast charger that has been included and it mentions adaptive fast charging here on the adapter itself Apart from that, uh, we have got a data cable here. This is a type A to type C data cable. Besides that, there is uh, some more stuff here. Let's find out. This is uh, the S Pen tip removal tool and also some extra tips that have been included. We have seen this with Note devices which come with S Pen. So, when you get your tab s6 make sure you save this you may need it later if the s pen tip wears off you can easily replace it it has included tips as well as tool here is the sim removal tool and here we have got some documentation and guides warranty manuals etc which is basically uh, all the paperwork that you need so that's all in the box uh, no earphones included here and we get back to the tablet. <clears throat> this is the Samsung Galaxy Tab S6 which comes with a power or wake up key here on top on the right hand side of the tablet, volume rocker just below it, 
there's a microphone hole here and on the same side you find a sim card tray let me pop this open and show the configuration this is an lte variant that we get here and uh, on this side you have the micro sd card slot and on the other side you have the nano sim card slot so it is only one tray which houses a sd card slot on one side and nano sim card on the other side which is quite smart and space saving and as you can see it has a rubber seal here which means that it has some sort of uh, water resistance built into this tablet they, <clears throat> i'm not sure whether it is ip68 or not but it definitely looks like very nicely built you can see some antenna lines running across the top and the bottom of the tablet on the bottom here you have the charging port which is a type c some antenna bands and two speakers on this side and on this side you have the pogo pin style uh, docking connectors and uh, these also look like docking connectors for the keyboard accessory and on the other side you have another microphone hole and two speakers just like the tab 5 se this one also has a quad speaker system so two speakers on this side and two speakers on this side when you hold it like this uh, in the horizontal way so you have four speaker system with dolby atmos which is incredible the tab 5 sc speakers sound really great and uh, i have used that and i'm hoping that these are also equally good or maybe better so let me quickly set this up and get back with more details we have set up the tab s6 here and it comes with uh, under the display fingerprint scanner as well as face unlock so let me quickly demonstrate the face unlock to you so as soon as i look at it this uh, lock sign turns to unlocked and the face unlock feature works and both the fingerprint scanner as well as the face unlock are working fine here as you have seen i'll keep this to the side for just one moment and show you this uh, book cover keyboard accessory and how it looks we'll also quickly tell you how good it is to use uh, once uh, we snap it on so let's first take this out of uh, this box so here we have it this is the official case by samsung and uh, cost around 11000 rupees in india but if you buy it with the tablet it will be approximately 50 percent off so you will get it at half price and this is the two piece cover so you have to attach uh, this side to the back of the tablet and it also has this uh, adhesive which keeps the tablet securely in place and it also has this kickstand so we just have to align it properly and snap it on so let me quickly do that and come back so we have stuck the back to uh, this keyboard uh, case and this is how it fits there's also the small groove which holds the S Pen stylus here so you can just remove it when you need it and when you're not using it just put it back in place it is magnetically held in its place and then it is covered here and uh, the fit at, and the finish of this cover is quite good the bottom part of this case which is the keyboard part which also comes with a trackpad is connected with these uh, pogo pin connectors and you have the similar pins here as well and it magnetically latches on like this and it is now latched on and to use it there is this kickstand which is hinged here so you can just open it it is adjustable so you can place it like a laptop and you can use it like a laptop this is a full uh, keyboard as well as a trackpad that gives you a proper mouse functionality so you can use it like a proper desktop especially with the deck software that has been provided now let's get back to the tablet and show you how it works so right now I'm using it in tablet mode and the back case is connected and it also has this S Pen stylus here. The S Pen stylus also comes with the Bluetooth support this time and it also has some ear gestures that you can use. So when I'm in camera and uh, right now we are on the front facing camera, we can go to the back facing camera here. You can take a picture using this button. You can double click it to switch to the front facing camera. You can use the gestures, you keep the button pressed and move the uh, stylus, it changes the modes, you move it up, it changes the camera. So these flick gestures are also working quite fine, it has gyroscope etc built in. So you can take pictures using uh, the S Pen stylus itself. Uh, not to mention there are plenty of other functionalities like creating notes, writing notes etc you can also do with this stylus and it is quite powerful and 
It is one of the unique features of the Note devices of Samsung. So S Pen Stylus is a big plus here and when you place the S Pen Stylus here in the box uh, or this groove inside, it starts charging the stylus which is cool. Uh, once you get onto the home screen, you unlock it with your fingerprint or the face unlock. You see this beautiful 10.5 inch display which is best enjoyed in this uh, landscape uh, mode. It's a 2560 by uh, 1600 pixels display which is super bright and it comes with dual camera setup at the back and there is an 8 megapixel front facing camera. Talking of the performance, it uses a Snapdragon 855 chip with 6 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of internal memory. So let's start by doing a quick camera test on this. Uh, let's take a few pictures of the objects that we have got here for testing. So here we are in the camera app. Let's take a few pictures here. This also has an ultra wide mode with the 5 megapixel secondary camera that you have uh, got here. Apart from that, you have the pro mode, live focus mode, the video hyperlapse. So there are plenty of camera modes that have been provided. Uh, this, however, does not give you focus controls. In live focus, you can take portraits and uh, in videos, you can take high resolution videos. There is also an option of hyperlapse. So a lot of options that are available here uh, in the camera app. Let's also try and take a few selfies here. Uh, this is an 8 megapixel front facing camera which is provided here in this uh, bezel on top of the screen. So let's switch to the front facing camera and take a few selfies. And now I'll just move to the photo mode. All right, so let's get back to the results. This is the photo mode and this is the live focus mode. As you can see, it's working great. The 8 megapixel camera is capturing huge amount of details here and the selfies are coming out to be fairly detailed. I love the performance of this tablet. It's not jittering or you know stuttering at all. In whatever operations I'm doing, it's quite fast and very smooth uh, in operations. As you can see, this is the wide angle shot that we took with the rear facing five megapixel camera and the detailings are good enough. There is a little bit of noise, but when we switch to the main camera, you can see that there is good amount of clarity very little noise and a lot of detailing in this shot. So when it comes to camera capabilities, this uh, tablet is really good and you can also do a video chatting etc uh, using this tablet. The kickstand comes in very handy when you are watching movies etc. So you can just place it like this, run a slideshow, run a movie etc. So the kickstand or the backstand here is working really good. In terms of battery life, it comes with a 7040mAh battery and adaptive fast charging. Uh, but since this is a huge battery at 15 uh, watt charger, uh, would probably take a few hours to charge this. But once it is charged, it will go on for at least uh, 1.5 to 2 days of usage, uh, of uh, in fact heavy usage. If you are a light user, it can go on for a few days. Now if you have to do some productivity work on this uh, Samsung Galaxy Tab S6, you can just attach the keyboard which is super easy to attach and you can move to the dex mode for that there is an fn key or function key and dex button here you click and it changes to the dex mode which is uh, more like a desktop sort of environment which gives you apps in a desktop like uh, mode so as you can see you have the apps which can be floating around the screen you can resize them you can adjust them as per the need. You can have multiple apps running, document editing, editing, etc. can go on. And you have a lot of things that can go on simultaneously uh, in different windows, just like you would do on a desktop PC. And you have a full uh, trackpad support here, which is not very big, but it works like a proper trackpad. You can move things around, you can maximize them. You have a lot of uh, functionality, which is built in here. So let me just quickly try it and do a quick search for Intellect Digest and it takes us to our website in the uh, YouTube app here. So if I have to open the website, I just need to click this link. Uh, it's working pretty fine as a desktop browser. As you can see, it's a full mode desktop browser. The two finger scroll is also working. Great thing about this is that the uh, the performance is butter smooth. It is not stuttering at all. It does not feel like I'm doing it on a tablet device. It feels like I'm using a laptop. It gives you a pretty snappy and fast experience 
in a very very compact form factor this is just 420 grams so you should not forget that this device is super light and is giving you a lot of uh, versatility and functionality of using almost a computer like device uh, in a very short compact form factor with very lightweight with great processing power and long battery life so it can be a good replacement for your basic computing tasks document editing web browsing on the go and you do not need to carry uh, a computer everywhere you go you just carry this with you for entertainment as well as work this will work great you do not need a full fledged pc with you all the time it has a snapdragon 7 nanometer fab 855 processor which is very efficient on the battery as well so this is my quick review of the samsung galaxy tab s6 it's a great device if you are in the market to buy a tablet and if you need android tablet this is the best android tablet that you can get this is a pro device which can work as a desktop as well it's great for commuting it's great for carrying in your next flight it has a built-in sim card slot so you can just snap in a sim card you do not need dongles or data cards you can use the sim cards data plan on this directly uh, it's very very handy it's uh, very compact and it is nicely built robust and comes with the s pen functionality if uh, you have to buy an android tablet it cannot get better than the samsung galaxy tab s6 if you want to buy one for yourself i'm leaving best buy links in the description section below this video so go ahead and get one for yourself you would not be disappointed uh, with the samsung galaxy tab s6 i'm really happy with this one so i can definitely recommend this to you give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching this video for more such videos stay subscribed this is your host Roy purana signing off thanks for watching